Tampa, Florida ceramic coating, this Oliver Legacy Elite 2. This is a 2023 model. They picked it up in October. Uh, so we're down here. We're going to compound, polish, ceramic coat it. First step, we're going to take some gloss meter readings to assess the surface. Uh, given that it's a 2023 model, it's probably going to be in really good shape, but we just need to get these uh, readings for the warranty. 85. 85. So after taking a couple of readings, and we'll take some more later, uh, like I was thinking it would be, it's in the mid 80s. So factory new is around 80. So that's a, that's a good sign that there's no oxidation on the surface. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the wash, uh, get it all prepped, and then move on to the compounding. <laughs> Now that we got it all scrubbed down, we're gonna rinse it off, get all the soap off there, and then we're gonna go ahead and dry it. And then that's when we'll move on to the compounding and polishing steps, as you've seen in our previous videos. So that should take us about half the day, and then we'll move on to ceramic coating the trailer. How long is that gonna take us? What, ceramic coating? Yeah, a lot more time. <laughs> about three to four hours, I would say, usually. So we got the trailer all rinsed off. Uh, it is wet, so we need to go ahead and dry it. We are using the Adams Polishes uh, Jumbo Plus drying towels. Uh, it should take about one or two of these towels to dry the whole trailer. Uh, they're really good towels. We've been using them for a while. Uh, we're gonna put a link to those in the description below. Uh, so check that out. Yeah, check it out. So we just finished up the compounding step using our microfiber cutting pad. Uh, so what that did is remove any major imperfections in the surface. So we're gonna move on to the polishing step using this light cutting foam pad. What this is gonna do is provide a smooth, even finish that'll look really nice on the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and show you some of that. Gage is gonna get started on it, so let's take a look.
So now that we got the whole trailer polished, we're gonna do an alcohol wipe to remove any oils that the polish may have left behind. So we're just gonna have two microfiber towels here and some isopropyl alcohol. One is gonna be a wet towel and the other one's gonna be a dry. So all you do is take your wet and wipe the area and then buff it off with the dry one. So we're gonna do this to the whole trailer and then we'll move on to the ceramic coating. So let's get to it. So now that the whole surface of the trailer has been prepped using alcohol, we're gonna move on to the ceramic coating. So we have our glide coat ceramic, ceramic here. So we're gonna take our applicator mitt and the ceramic and put it on the surface in a cross hatch pattern. So we're gonna go up and down and then side to side. This is gonna ensure even, even coverage on the surface. And after we've done this small section here, we're gonna take our clean microfiber and buff off the excess. We're gonna repeat this step for the whole trailer and we're gonna do two coats of ceramic uh, waiting one hour in between coats. So we just finished up ceramic coating the Oliver. It looks really good. Now the owners can expect easy maintenance and UV protection for the next several years. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let us know down in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see or questions you might have. Thanks for watching.